disturbing new details about the Golden State killer from the police chief who fired him. ABC's Whit Johnson has the story. This morning, accused serial killer Joseph D'Angelo expected back in court. This is Californians now recall just how chillingly close they came to the man. Prosecutors say is responsible for at least a dozen murders and more than 50 rapes beginning in the mid 70s. His defense attorney attempting to block investigators from collecting more DNA, fingerprints, and photographs from specific parts of his body. D'Angelo's former boss wondering if he could have helped catch the suspected killer more than 30 years ago. Guilt, uh, some embarrassment, uh, you know, I just wish we, it could have you know, been stopped a long time ago. Retired Auburn Police Chief Nick Willick fired D'Angelo in 1979 for stealing dog repellent and a hammer saying D'Angelo later filed a lawsuit against the department. The investigator told me that uh, Joseph had gone to my house one night to kill me and uh, said that he walked around the house looking in the windows but couldn't find my bedroom. A short time after he had been fired, I woke up one morning. My four-year-old daughter was laying alongside the bed. She said, Dad, last night, there was someone looking in my bedroom window with a flashlight. Did you think that could have been Joseph D'Angelo outside your home? No, I did not. But what he didn't know at the time, that the man he fired would be arrested decades later for brutal crimes he's accused of committing while on the force. Former Chief Willick also tells me that years ago, D'Angelo once gave him a tour of his home, explaining that he and his wife slept in separate bedrooms. Willick now wondering if that living arrangement may have enabled D'Angelo to sneak out of his house in the middle of the night. George? Many more questions. Okay, Whit, thanks very much. And we'll have much more on the Golden State Killer on 2020 this Friday at 10, 9 Central. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.